What's up, Internet? Welcome to a review uh, by yours truly, C.T. Chusky Biscuit. Uh, okay, let's dive right in and uh, let's get started. All right, so today we are reviewing the Newmark Mixtrack Pro 3, one of the uh, entry-level DJ controllers by Newmark. This is the Newmark Mixtrack Pro 3. All right. Metal jog wheels, metal play, metal cue button, metal sync. Really like that feature. Top right here, really something that stands out to me is the track seek. Basically, you can go through and um, in the software you can find where you want to be at in the track without having to use the jog wheels. Large uh, tempo controls right here. Large throw, kind of a little rough right there, but allows for beat matching, a little bit more forgiveness right there. Basic controls at the top here. You have your browse button right here, very clicky. You've got your high mids and lows, and you've got a filter right here. You've got all your controls right here, your master volume, headset volume, and mix volume. That way you can determine what you want to hear in your ears. Cool effects bars right again. Effects, easy to use. This, very clicky. Down at the bottom, you've got your four or eight pads or eight pad, eight button pad. These four down here are always going to be your hot cues. Hot cues one, two, three, and four. Kind of okay with that. And then you got your top here. You have your manual loop, auto loop, and your sample, pla sample pad buttons. You only get four at the top. That's all you get. You don't get uh, your full eight like with most controllers. Um, bottom is always going to be hot cues again. Nice clear display to let you know if you're clipping or not. It's really nice. Easy to use controls right here. Overall, very nice. Very uh, kind of lightweight. On the top here, you've got your RCA outputs to go to your uh, mix to your mixing boards or to your speakers direct, and you've got your computer control right there, plug into your computer, and then you've got your headphone jack right or your headphone jack. Sorry, is that the hip? No. Right. You got your headphone jack right here, and then you've got your mic input right here with your gain control knob right here. So pretty nice, new mark label all over it. Uh, overall, it's nice. The buttons are really, uh, really nice. I do like the rubber feel of them. Um, the only major complaint that I have right now so far when, as I've been using it and testing it out is the fact that when I am spinning, I have been known to hit my tempo control. So that's pretty much the only thing is when you spin, you have a chance to hit your tempo control. Um, and that's something that you might not want to do during a show. I'm just going to put that out there. Everything else, easy to throw that. Nice metal jog wheels, great construction, nice grip on the side. Newmark logo in the middle. Overall, it's a nice board, clocking in around $200 at a Guitar Center. It's a decent entry level um, board. It does come with Serato Lite, so you do get to experience it before you upgrade to the full version of the software. Um, all in all, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Um, price wise it's about average across it's a little bit cheaper than most of the other boards uh, if you compare it to other boards like the Pioneer uh, DJ RB that I reviewed um, not a lot of bang for the buck you get Serato Lite you get the board which is about $200 not a lot going on um, as far as looks goes it is look it does look pretty clean a lot of real estate everything's pretty spread out so you're not bunched up when you're using the controller I will say that um, another thing is you've got a little bit more in the top for your uh, effect control. The slider, like I mentioned before, that can control the effects as well. So you're not just limited to whatever the effects are. You can control the effects using the sliders um, or using the track seek system. Uh, jog wheels are pretty easy, nice, nice and smooth. Um, the major thing I really have with it right now is I do like how it, it's got a pro and a con to it. I like more buttons and more controls, but at the same time, I like to be able to do multiple things with those sets of buttons. Having the sampler loop or the auto loop at the top, or the sampler, the manual loop, the four buttons at the top, and having the hot cues at the bottom of it does give it that ability to be a little bit more versatile on the bottom. But I don't like the fact because I like to be able to have more control down there. So it is kind of a kind of a pro and con with that. Uh, another thing I do like is the large pit sliders, but I kind of, when I'm spinning, I have, I can hit them. I've been known to hit them when I'm spinning or trying to do something real quick. So that is my only pro and con with that. I do like the top part right there with all the controls for my effects and the seek, and the track seek system. It is nice, 
clocking in at about $200, you do need to get a decent controller. It's going to be a 6 out of 10 for me. You know, it's got some things that I like, got some things that I don't like. There's a lot to it. Um, it is a decent board for it, and for its cost, it's pretty low costing. So I'm going to have to give it a solid review on that. It is a nice board. Overall, I have no complaints over it, except for the fact that I have been flicking my hand against that stupid thing for the uh, pitch or the tempo controller. Other than that, it's a decent board to start with. All right, guys, that's my time for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys have yourself a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your month. Enjoy everything. And just enjoy life in general. Hope to see you guys soon. Hope to do more reviews on my channel. I might review something else later on, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I will have my, basically what I use during my shows. Um, I will do that video eventually. Um, and I'll, let, I'll, I'll keep you guys informed. I am going to do a vape video real quick. I'm going to record that. I'm going to upload it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys want more content. Um, let me know what other products you guys want me to review. And just, you know, let's let's get this going.